Hi everyone, Zoe from Telekim. Today's video is another Vimix video about setting up Stinger Transition and Vimix just like this one. Now I'm using the Telekim Meet Plus 100 over here and the Telecam Vision Plus N3 mounted on the bracket over there. What generally speaking, a stinger is a transition technique. It is typically used to hide the abrupt cut between things. It usually appears for a few seconds to display something uh, while the content behind it is transitioned, making the transition more seamless and engaging, adding a bit of excitement to your video content like this one. The first thing we're going to do is to add input, go to title and find GT Stinger. There are many Stinger templates that you can use from Remix. Some include a logo and some don't. Uh, I'm going to go with um, the white and purple one that I used at the beginning of the video. Now here you can change the logo if you have one. Go to the image setup and find your logo. And boom, you're ready for this one. After the Stinger setups, now let's go to overlay settings. Choose Stinger 1. We can set up after four Stingers, but we're going to go with Stinger 1 today. And since this one is a Stinger, it has to hide like the abrupt cut between things. So in most cases, we'll just go with full screen instead of picture in picture. Well, for the cut effect, if you want to keep all the animation and the design of the templates go with cut. And since we chose cut, it overrides duration because the stinger would happen instantly. So we can just ignore the duration, keep it as what it is, and then choose the stinger that you just added. Right one purple stinger nine, click OK. Now we're ready to go. Now, what do we do to actually make the stinger happen? Now I've already loaded two cameras so that I can switch from one another and then go to the transition panel, change one of the effect to stinger one. And now let's see how it works. And at some times people would also want to add an audio into that stinger. Now let's do that part. First of all, we have to add an audio into your production. Browse and choose the one you prefer. But here I'd like to emphasize that the audio should be shorter or exactly the same length as the stinger. Otherwise, once the stinger is finished, your audio is going to be cut and it's not going to sound right. Go with this one. My audio lasts only for two seconds, so I'm not going to worry about the length. Once we loaded the audio, there are two more things we need to do. First of all, make sure the audio is on and then go to the audio settings, go to general and untick the automatically mix audio. Trust me, you're not going to like the uh, mix effect. Close it. The audio is all set. Now let's go back to the stinger setups, go to multi view and choose the audio we just loaded and and take the box because we don't want to display the video, but we do need the sound. So I'll take this one and close. Let's see how this one works. That's all for today's video. Now, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and give it a thumb up and comment down below. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.